G'day guys, it's Brock from TAT. Today we've got a 2005 VZ Commodore, this white one next to us that's got towed in uh, with an intermittent issue with the transmission going into limp mode and a P0864 invalid data signal from TCM. So stick with us and uh, we'll have a look and show you what we found. So as you can see here guys, these were the, this was the code that we were getting. So the first thing we want to do is obviously take it for a drive and confirm the fault. And we obviously could get the fault relatively easily. It didn't take long, just go for a bit of a drive. Uh, everything gets a little bit warm. And then you can see the transmission goes into limp mode and the symptom on the dash is that when you're in drive or reverse, or you can see when I move through the gears that it doesn't know where it's at and it's, it's going all over the shop. Scan it for codes, invalid data from TCM. So first thing we did is obviously quickly look at the CAN network and obviously look at where the TCM is in relation to the rest of the network. And you can see that the TCM, obviously with the PCM flag in that code, that PCM is registering, it's, it's getting a code from the TCM, but it's not actually understanding what that, uh, what that signal is. So do we have an issue with the TCM? Have you got an issue with wiring? So we bring up the CAN bus wiring and obviously we look at the high and low of the CAN bus. And we have a math channel underneath and because obviously the, the transceivers in the modules are looking at the math channel A take B. They're not looking at the high and low. And you can see here that we've got a funny squiggle. And sometimes when you get a CAN bus, you might look at that and go, that doesn't look right because it's not what you normally see. But if you look at the math channel, what the transceivers are reading, you can see at the bottom here that it's a completely normal. So you know, don't be alarmed by that. Sometimes you may have to make sure you take that math channel into account when you're diagnosing CAN network issues. So obviously this CAN network looks good. The signals all look good. The TCM is currently failing and the, the TCM obviously doesn't look like it's failing on the network at all. So we can only assume there's an internal fault with that TCM. So obviously the next thing we do is we check all the powers and grounds, which we did, you know, it's due diligence on any module issue and they were all good. So unfortunately, you know, we haven't dived into serial decoding or anything like that. It's a little bit technical and, you know, it's not really where we're looking at the moment. And it's hard to understand, although we, whenever we're getting the signals, it's hard to understand what it's actually sending. So what we have made the decision, and you know, it's a bit of an educated decision, an educated, not, not a guess as such, but it's, a, it's an informed diagnosis. The, t, the TCM likely is the fault. So spoke to the customer, we've got a secondhand TCM, put it in, it's plug and play on these things, and the problem was solved. So uh, that just goes to show you that, um, you know, it's it's, not relatively simple, but in a degree, it is relatively simple to have a look at these sort of diagnoses. And obviously, with network communication, it can be a little bit tricky, a little bit daunting, but you know, don't be scared to, to go in there and have a look. So there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. Obviously, you know, like I said before, it's, it's hard to, to understand what the modules are actually sending out, but by looking at the CAN signals, we can prove that there's no issues with the signals themselves, no issue with the actual physical layer of the, of the CAN bus anyway. And um, hopefully that doesn't, uh, well, shows you that you don't, you don't have to be scared of uh, CAN network issues, you know, just a little bit of testing and, you know, you can make an informed decision. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.